It's me, Ellie Sparkles. Do you like making slime? Yeah. Good, because we are making slime today in this mystery punch board challenge. That means we'll be punching this board and getting some mystery ingredients. But we need a friend to play with us. I wonder who we can get to play. Mm hmm. Marshall, no, he's busy today. Chase, <sighs> one of the PJ masks. Oh, Romeo, <laughs> I wonder what you're doing here. Oh, you want to play slime. Okay, you can play with me, but just make sure you don't cheat, okay? The rules of the game are, we're gonna pick one of these balls from this bowl, and whatever number we get, we had a punch on the punch board. So if we get one, we had a punch, one. And then we have to use the mystery ingredient in there to make our slime. We're gonna go three times to get three ingredients. But there's one catch. If you get switch up, that means you have to switch the bowl with the other person. Are you ready to play, Romeo? Do you understand the rules? Okay, let's rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Yes! I win, that means I get to go first. Before I pick my ball, we gotta get our balls out. Perfect. Here you go, Romeo. All right, I'm super excited to see what number I get first. And I got... Awesome! Let's see what's behind number six. One, two, three! And I got, oh, cool, purple glue! That's one of my favorite colors! <laughs> Do you know what colors make up purple? That's right, blue and red. Awesome! Let me just put that in my bowl. Whoa! <laughs> Isn't this so cool, Romeo? Okay, I think I almost got it all out. Ooh. Okay, Romeo, let's switch places and it's your turn to pick a ball. <gasps> and you got the number three. Can't wait to see what's behind number three. It's pretty far away, you got it? One, two, three. <gasps> what's in there? <gasps> Clear glue. It's gonna make a really shiny slime. <laughs> Let's switch places. It's a funny noise. <laughs> awesome! Do you not like your clear glue, Romeo? Wait, Romeo, no! You can't take my bowl, it's not switched up yet. Okay, everyone, it's time for my third ball. What is that, Romeo? You want me to close my eyes? Okay. But don't cheat. Oh, where'd it go? I can't see. Hmm. I'm going to pick this one. Romeo! Are these all switch ups? That's not fair. I guess I have to switch my bowl with you. Oh, I don't want clear glue. Okay, because I'm not a cheater, I'm gonna give you the real bowl. Oop. Here you go, Romeo. Are you ready for your second ball? <gasps> you got two! Okay, let's see what's behind number two. 
One, two, three, and... What'd you get? <gasps> Confetti, that's awesome! Oh, okay. Oh, go ahead and put it in your bowl. You're gonna have such cool slimes. I wish I got that. I'm Ellie Sparkles. That looks so good. Romeo, I'm so jealous. Oh man, my slime is really, really plain so far. And this is my last ball. I hope I get something colorful. Ready? Number eight. I hope this is a good one. Eight. One, two, three. Oh, feels soft. <gasps> what? It's white balls in my clear glue. It's gonna be super plain. Okay, that's the rule of the game. Oh, they look like little snowballs. They're super light. At least the slime's gonna be super crunchy. Do you hear that, Romeo? It's such a plain slime. I think it looks pretty cool though. Okay, let's switch around. Time for your last ball, Romeo. You're so lucky, you're gonna get such a cool one. What is that? <gasps> Romeo, you got switch up! You know what that means. This is mine now. <laughs> Don't be sad, that looks really, really cool too. I just love sparkles though. Okay, Romeo, do you know what else makes slime? You need the activator. And I have some activator right here. So I'm gonna put half of this in mine and you're gonna put the rest of it in yours. Ooh, here you go. And we just have to stir. I like your slime, Romeo looks like a snowball. This is turning out awesome. The confetti looks super cool in this one. Ooh, icky and gooey. Romeo, I got so messy mixing my slime, but I think I'm pretty much done, are you? Awesome. Let's show the boys and girls out there what our slimes look like. Whoa, it's so stretchy. Whoa, it's gonna snap. Oh, it just keeps stretching. Oh. <laughs> Let's look at your slime, Romeo. Can you stretch it out really, really far? <laughs> Whoa, look at all the balls in there. That looks so cool. Okay, boys and girls, let us know in the comments below. Do you like my purple confetti slime that's super stretchy? <laughs> or do you like Romeo's white ball and clear slime? It's pretty awesome. And it has a crunching noise because of the balls that are inside it. <laughs> Romeo, you better watch out or I'll slime you. <laughs> no, don't slime me, Romeo. <laughs> or I'll slime you back. <laughs> Would you like to do the three marker challenge with me? What? Romeo, you don't want to play? But if you win, you get to beat me. <laughs> Romeo loves to win. All right, the rules of the challenge are we have to pick three markers from this cup, blindfolded, and then whatever colors you pick out, you have to color with them. And whoever makes the best picture wins. We're gonna do three rounds, so we're gonna have three different pictures to color in. Are you ready? Let's do a rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. 
rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, Romeo, you win! Which means you get to go first. Okay, everyone, let's blindfold ourselves. Boys and girls, if Romeo cheats, let me know in the comments below. Are you finished, Romeo? Okay, I'm opening my eyes. <gasps> cool, you got some really nice colors, Romeo. He picked a really pretty pink. He picked a super bright orange. And he picked an awesome blue. Okay, now it's my turn. Close your eyes. I'll pick. Oh, these markers feel kind of weird. Mm, I'll pick this one. This color. And this color. Okay, I'm done. <gasps> Romeo! Oh, I can't believe it. He swapped out my markers for crayons. <sighs> it's okay. I like these colors anyway. I have this really cool red, I have this yellow, and I have this blue. And these are really special colors because they're primary colors. If I mix them up, I can get new colors. Romeo, you thought you could get me. <laughs> okay, now it's time for the fun part. We get to color in our coloring pages. And our first coloring page is of... Owlet! Romeo, you don't like Owlet, do you? <laughs> I love Owlet. She's my favorite PJ Masks because she can fly and she's the color red. Okay, here's your page, Romeo. And here's mine. It's a good thing I have red for this one. Owlette is the only girl in the PJ Masks, and I love her because her superpower is she can fly. And I love the ability to fly. You can go so many places. Romeo, where would you go if you could fly? All sorts of places. I would go to Italy and eat all the pizzas. I love coloring. Tell me in the comments below what your favorite color is. I'm gonna give her wings three different colors. It's gonna be so cool. Romeo, you sure like coloring outside of the lines. <gasps> Romeo, what are you doing? Don't steal my crayons. <laughs> They're mine, I picked them. Oh my goodness, did you give Owlet a mustache? <laughs> and a beard? Owlet doesn't have any of that. You really don't like Owlet, do you, Romeo? And finished. <gasps> it looks so pretty. All right, Romeo, shall we show the boys and girls what we did? In three, two, one. Who do you think won this first round? Me or Romeo? <gasps> I won! Yes! I won the first round! Awesome! Now it's time for us to color in our second page. And we're gonna be coloring Punk Boy, the first LOL boy doll. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> Which LOL doll is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Punk Boy loves to play the guitar. Romeo, can you play guitar? <laughs> I can play guitar too. 
<laughs> I always like to color carefully. Romeo, are you? What are you doing? You're coloring right outside the lines. <laughs> What is it, Romeo? What? I don't see anything. Romeo, I think you're just tricking me. Okay. Bye. Ellie. I'm almost done. I just have a few more things to color. Three, two, one, finished. What about you, Romeo? Okay, ready to show the boys and girls what we did? In three, two, one. Wait, Romeo, what did you do? Those aren't your marker colors. Did you cheat, Romeo? I can't believe it. Okay, let's see who won this round. And Romeo won this round, of course. It's because he cheated, boys and girls. <laughs> well, luckily we have a last round to see who wins the whole challenge. And this time, we're gonna be coloring a minion. <laughs> what, Romeo, you don't like minions? <laughs> it's a good thing I have yellow. Don't cheat this time, Romeo. Romeo, I'm not falling for that again. You can't have any in my crayons. <laughs> oh, wow, Romeo. Your minion looks really good. What, Romeo? Nope, I'm not falling for that again. I know you're just tricking me. Bye. E. L. L. I. And E. Ellie. Okay, I'm finished. Romeo, what about you? You done? Okay, let's show the boys and girls in three, two, one. Okay, boys and girls, you get to decide who did this picture better? Me with my rainbow colored glasses minion or Romeo with his super colorful pink minion? Let us know in the comments below who you think did the best job in round three. Hey, make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you see Romeo cheating, because he likes to cheat. <laughs> what we're gonna do in this challenge is we're gonna close our eyes and pick three random colors from this tie-dye kit. There's all sorts of colors. Yellow, purple, blue, green. There's just so many colors. Let's do rock and scissors to see who goes first. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, Romeo, you got me. You get to pick your colors first. I'm so jealous. Okay, we're gonna close our eyes. Remember to give me a big thumbs up if Romeo's cheating. this light green, and this blue, and this black. That's gonna be a really cool shirt. I can't wait to pick my colors. I really want that pink. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. Hmm, what color should I pick first? I can't see them. I'm going to pick this one. And this one. And you know what? These don't feel like the tie-dye bottles. The 
this one. Huh. They feel more like... Sharpie markers? Romeo, let's just switch out the tie-dye with Sharpie markers. Oh no, it's gonna take me forever now. At least my colors are pretty cool. I have this really cool purple. That's gonna look awesome. This really nice blue. And the super bright green. I'm really excited to get started on my shirt, even though I'm not using the tie-dye bottles. But it's okay. Okay, in order to make the tie-dye pattern, we have to take our shirt, lay it out flat, pinch the middle, and since we're gonna do a swirl pattern, we're gonna swirl and swirl and twist and twirl and keep pulling on the edges so it looks kind of like a flower, turning and turning and turning until you get something like this. And then you're gonna use elastic bands to tie it like this. Another elastic band across from it. And then you're just slicing this t-shirt up in sections like a pizza. And one last one. With every slice of our little t-shirt pizza pies, we're gonna make it a different color. But there are two different ways to do it, since Romeo cheated. I'm gonna do it with Sharpie markers, and Romeo's gonna do it the easy way, with a tie-dye kit. And what Romeo will do, is he's gonna take a bottle, and he's gonna squeeze it on top of each little slice. Can I help you, Romeo? Okay. I'm gonna do a blue, right next to you. Oh, whoa, that is so dark. Romeo, we have to stay within the pizza slices, okay? Don't get too messy. Awesome! So easy! I think we're done! That was really quick, wasn't it, boys and girls? This method is way more time-consuming than the tie-dye kit. This is gonna take forever. Romeo, do you wanna help me? Mm -hmm. What? But I helped you. And this is even harder than the tie dye kit. One slice done. These are like the PJ Masks colors. <laughs> this is Owlette, and this is Gecko. <laughs> the PJ Masks always beat you, don't they, Romeo? <laughs> Remember, when you're done with one side, I'm not quite finished yet. You have to do the other side and get right into the folds. Yes, Romeo, I know this is taking a really long time. But I'm using Sharpies. You just have to squeeze a couple bottles. I'm finally done. Look at how pretty it looks. And now for the fun part. I get to pour rubbing alcohol all over my t-shirt. This is the final step. Look, 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 look. Oh, look at how all the colors run. Look, 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 look. Now for the other side. Make sure you get your mother or father to do this because this can get very messy and dangerous. Just swirl it around, flip it over, perfect. And now we just had to wait for them to dry. And after that, we'll cut off all the rubber bands and see the final t-shirt. I'm really excited, are you Romeo? They're gonna look so good. Now it's time for us to cut open the rubber bands and see the final t-shirt. One, two, three, cut! <sighs> yes! Your turn! One, two, three, <gasps> awesome! Ready to reveal to all the boys and girls our final t-shirts? Let's do it! Whoa! Whoa, mine is awesome! Look at how bright it is! Oh, 
Romeo. Wow, wow. Yours is really good. <laughs> That's a lot of white spaces though. No, Romeo, this is mine. I worked really, really hard on this. See, this is why you have to go right into the fold so you get all of the t-shirt colored. <laughs> Marshall and I are gonna be doing the mystery slime punch board challenge. Marshall loves punch board challenges, so this is gonna be awesome. The rules of the game are you have to pick a number from this bowl. And whatever number that you get, you have to punch on the punch board. So if you pick out five, you gotta punch five. And whatever ingredient you get behind each number, you put into your bowl to make your slime. We're gonna go three times to get three ingredients to make the coolest, awesomest slime ever. And you get to decide at the end who made the best slime. Do you understand the rules, Marshall? I'm so excited. Let's do a rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I get to go first. Okay, I'm ready. One, two, three. Hmm, I got five. All right, let's see what's behind five. Where is it? One, two, three. Oh, it feels like a glue. Oh, it's green glue. Awesome. Okay, your turn, Marshall. Ready? got four. Let's see what's behind four. I bet it's gonna be a really, really cool ingredient. That's right. Two, three. What'd you get? Oh, wow, a glitter glue, that's so awesome. And it matches your colors, Marsha. <laughs> okay, let's switch places. And now, I'm gonna get our slime bowls. All right, ready to put your first ingredient in? Whoa, this is a classic slime color. <laughs> oh my gosh, yours is so sparkly and so jealous. <laughs> it's red like a fire truck. Mine's green like grass. Or Granny Smith apples. <laughs> Woo! So sticky. All right, time for my second ingredient. One, two, three. What's in here? Whoa, pink glitter glue, this is the best one yet. It's pink just like my dress. Awesome. Okay, Marshall, your turn. What'd you get? One, awesome, you're number one, Marshall. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> Shaping foam? That's so cool, that means you're gonna make fluffy slime. Okay, let's switch places again. So I got the pink glitter glue, and Marsha got the shaving foam. That's gonna be so cool when it comes out. I'm ready when you are. Ready? Let's go. Whoa! I wonder how this is gonna mix together. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of shaving foam, Marshall. <gasps> cool! I think it's time for our third ingredient. And this is our last one. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'll get. I hope it's a good one. It's nice! 
nine. That's the last number on here. Nine. One, two, three. It doesn't feel like a glue, it feels like oh, colorful balls. Awesome! They are so cool and there's so many of them. Okay, your turn, Marshall. It's your last one. Are you excited? Hmm, I wonder what number you're gonna get for your last ingredient. It looks like a three. Okay. Where is that three? Make this a really good punch. <gasps> What's in there? Cool blue glue, oh my goodness. And you have red glue too, that will make purple. Okay, now let's put our final ingredients in and then after that, we'll be able to mix it up with some activator and make the slime. Whoa, it looks like candy. I want to eat them. <laughs> Whoa, that's such a pretty blue. Wow. Mine's going to be a super crunchy slime. Okay, Marshall, wait here while I get our spatula so we can mix, mix, mix. I've got our spatulas and I've got our activator. Here's a red spatula for you, Marshall, because I know it's your favorite color. <laughs> Okay, let me just open this up for us. I'm gonna put a little bit at a time. Here you go. And after you put the activator in, you just keep mixing and mixing and mixing and then it'll magically turn into slime. Okay, let's go. Whoa, there's just so many balls in here. Oh, wow, yours is like a cloud, Marshall. Oh my goodness, it's so fluffy. Mine has a little bit of glitter in it from the pink glitter glue, but it's definitely mostly green. And yours is definitely mostly blue. <laughs> I can't wait to play with yours, Marshall. I can already hear my slime crunching away. What? That's unbelievable, Marshall. Mmm, looks like a marshmallow. <laughs> I'm gonna get in there with my hands. Oh, it's so sticky. My slime's a little bit creepy. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's super stretchy. <laughs> Yours looks like chewing gum. Ooh. Oh, I want to touch yours, Marshall. Oh, wow, it's super soft. Oh my goodness. Ooh, this is extra gooey. Oh, it's super fluffy. You get to decide. Do you like my green colorful ball with glitter slime? Or do you like Marshall's really fluffy blue slime? I definitely want to try and play with yours, Marshall. It looks really sticky though. <laughs> it's exactly like chewing gum. Ooh. I definitely wouldn't like to get this on my head. It'll never come off. <laughs> I wish I had a costume like that. Oh wait, I have an idea. Wow, look at how I'm dressed. I'm dressed just like Violet from The Incredibles. One of my favorite characters from the movie. That gives me an idea. I'm gonna disappear and then reappear later when Marshall's here. Huh? Hi, Marshall. Do you see me? <laughs> Are you ready to play the three color marker challenge with me, Marshall? Okay, but can you find me? 
I'm right here. Did I trick you, Marshall? <laughs> I was being Violet from The Incredibles. All right, do you know how to play the three color marker challenge? Basically, all you have to do is close your eyes and pick three markers in this cup. And whatever colors you pick out, you have to color the three coloring pages. It's really, really easy and it's super, super fun. Let's do rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win. That means I get to pick my colors first. Time to close your eyes. And I'm going to pick my first color. This color. This color. And this color. Oh wow, I got some really cool colors. I got this light pink, this red, and this cool turquoise. And now it's time for Marshall's turn. Close your eyes. There's some really great colors left. You're done? Amazing! You got green, yellow, and purple. This is some pretty bright colors. Now for our first coloring page. We have Dash from The Incredibles. Do you like The Incredibles, Marshall? Yes! Yeah, The Incredibles 2 is one of my favorite movies this year. Let me know in the comments below if you like The Incredibles 2. Dash is so cool, he goes super fast. Let's see if we can color this in really, really fast too. <laughs> the Paw Patrol and The Incredibles have a lot in common. They love helping others with their special powers. I love taking my time while I color, but sometimes I like going really, really fast. You wanna see me go really, really fast, Marshall? <laughs> okay, I'm ready to keep on coloring. Marshall, you're making your gloves green as well? Great minds think alike. This is gonna be weird, but I'm gonna make Dash's hair pink. <laughs> I put a little bit of red in his hair as well. You're almost there, Marshall. Just gotta do his hair. Wow, Marshall, you just got the blonde hair perfect. It looks exactly like his hair in the movie. Awesome. Now it's time to show the boys and girls how we did. Three, two, one. What do you think, boys and girls? Who do you think won this first round? You decide. Let us know in the comments below if you like my dash or Marshall's dash more. I think they're both really, really cool. Okay, time for our second coloring page. And we have Alex from Minecraft. One of my favorite games ever. I love creating new worlds of Minecraft. Here you go, Marshall. Do you play Minecraft, Marshall? Hmm, I'm gonna start with red. I think one of my favorite parts about Minecraft is discovering new things. I love Minecraft because there's so many things you can do. You can chop down trees. You can build all sorts of new things. You can also fight monsters! Wow, Marshall, you're such a careful colorer. Who do you like in Minecraft, Alex or Steve? I give her some stripy arms. <laughs> I liked how you picked different colors on the pants and the shirt.
much done. What about you, Marshall? Good? Okay, let's show the boys and girls in three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa, they're really, really bright. Okay, boys and girls, for round two, who did best? Me or Marsha? Let us know in the comments below. And now for the deciding round, the final coloring page. We have V from Vampirina. And she's super, 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 super cute. Isn't she, Marsha? I love her. Here's your page. Oh my goodness. I love her hair because it just looks like bat wings. I think I'm going to make it pink. You're going with purple? Wow, that's a really good color for her hair. She has periwinkle skin, which is like a light purple. Wow, you did stripes. That's super smart, Marshall. Give me a big thumbs up if Halloween is one of your favorite holidays. It's definitely one of mine. I love dressing up, as you can tell, because I'm wearing my Incredibles costume. <laughs> I think I might be V for Halloween. What were you for Halloween last year, Marshall? A fireman? That's perfect for you. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you're going to be for Halloween. All right, I'm done. Are you done, Marshall? Awesome. Let's show everybody. Three, two, one. That's it, everyone. This is the final round. Let us know in the comments below who you think won round three. Do you like my polka dot hair V? Or do you like the purple and green haired V? Me or Marshall? Marshall, you only got plain white t-shirts? Oh no. It's okay, because I had a really great idea. We're going to be making tie-dye t-shirts. Have you ever made a tie-dye t-shirt before, Marshall? Well, did you know that you can use just Sharpie markers to make a tie-dye t-shirt? All you need are Sharpie markers, <laughs> some elastic bands, a dish, and you're going to have to get an adult for this with some rubbing alcohol. This will make the colors spread. Yes! I'm going to show you how to make a swirl pattern with your t-shirt, and then we're going to get right into it. Are you ready, Marshall? Awesome! Give me a big thumbs up if you like tie-dye t-shirts. <laughs> All right, you're going to get your t-shirt. You're going to lay it out flat like this. And you're going to find the center of it. I think around here, pinch it, and then just twist slowly. That's right. Round and round. Sometimes you have to let go and move the t-shirt around a bit so that it doesn't get tangled. And you can just keep spinning and twisting. <laughs> Marshall, that was a really good spin. Ooh, twist and twist and twist. It looks kind of like a flower, doesn't it? And you're gonna have to hold all this back into the spiral shape. And when you have something that looks a little bit like this, you're gonna get elastic bands. And you're gonna tie it together. So we have one elastic band like this. Can you stretch out another elastic band for me, Marshall? Another elastic band, like this, so you get something like a plus shape. Another one, like that. It's like a star, 
And now one last one to complete the star shape. And you should have something that looks like this. Awesome! Now that you have this, you're gonna pick three colors of markers. Because we're gonna be doing the three color marker tie-dye challenge. Isn't that cool? Yeah! Like all three color marker challenges, we have to close our eyes and pick three markers from this cup of Sharpies. You wanna do rock, paper, scissors, see goals first, Marshall? Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes! I get to pick my colors first. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to pick this color. This color and this color. Okay, I'm opening my eyes. <gasps> awesome! I got orange, just like an orange. <laughs> Blue, like the sky and Marshall's eyes. <laughs> and pink, like my dress. <laughs> Your turn, Marshall. Awesome, Marshall, you got some great colors. You got red, just like your uniform. <laughs> Black, that's also on your uniform. And your spots. <laughs> and green, that's one of your favorite colors, right Marshall? Now we have our colors, we can start coloring in our t-shirts. Doesn't this look like a pizza pie with eight different slices? <laughs> No, Marshall, you don't eat it, it's a t-shirt. But you can use these pizza pie slices to color in certain colors. So I'm gonna make this one pink, and I'm gonna make the other ones all the other colors that I picked. That looks really good. That green is gonna be so bright. Remember when you're done with one side, you have to do the other side as well. This is gonna take a really long time. Make sure you get really, really deep inside the cracks and the folds. That way your t-shirt is extra, extra, extra colorful. This shirt takes a long time, doesn't it, Marshall? <laughs> it sure is fun to color in your t-shirts. What you shouldn't do with all your t-shirts. You gotta ask your mom or dad for some new t-shirts to do it with. Or some old ones that you don't want anymore. Okay, Marsha, let's play a game. I'm gonna say something and you're gonna tell me what color it is. What color is an apple? Green, that's right. Or it could be red. <laughs> you're so smart, Marshall. Do you think you're the smartest one in the Paw Patrol? <laughs> well, I'm almost done with this side. Make sure you get right inside the folds. Peel them back. Well, that took a really long time, but I think I'm finally done. Yeah, my hand is super tired too, Marshall. Whew. Let's show all the boys and girls what the t-shirts look like now. Aren't they super colorful? But we're not done yet. This is the part where you need an adult. You're gonna take the rubbing alcohol and pour it into your dish, being very, very careful. You don't need a lot. Your turn. And then you just put your t-shirt inside the dish. And then we'll pour some on top making sure to coat every single pizza slice. Well, 
We're gonna spread it around a little bit. Gonna flip yours. And if you see any dry spots where the color hasn't run, you just put a little bit more of the alcohol on. So I see there's a little bit here that you need. Right. Perfect. Ooh. It's all around. Okay. Just keep turning and turning and moving and getting all the rubbing alcohol in the shirt. And now all we have to do is wait for them to dry and then we'll open them up and see what they look like. And then you get to decide who has the best shirt. Now that the t-shirts have dried a little bit, we're gonna cut off the rubber bands and see the final t-shirt. I'm so excited. Okay. Ooh. Snip. <laughs> Snip. Cool. Let's pick it up. Whoa! That looks so cool. Look at how colorful they are. Yours looks so awesome, Marshall. I can't wait to wear these. Mine's super bright. Yours is super bright too. Wow, this is gonna look really good for back to school. Okay, boys and girls, now it's time for you to decide. Whose shirt do you like better? Do you like my pink, orange, and blue shirt better? Or do you like Marshall's green, black, and red shirt? Make sure you leave a comment below whose shirt you like better. If you want even more tie-dye challenges, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Marshall, we are so good at tie-dyeing t-shirts. <laughs> Until next time, everyone, keep sparkling and Ellie out. <laughs>